On our strength and growth depends the strength of others, the spread of free world trade and unity, and continued confidence in our leadership and our currency. When you look around the world and you look at governments and businesses that are successful, they usually collaborate. The economy is in a very good shape. The outlook has uncertainties. We have to uh, be flexible. We have to be uh, data dependent and again focus really on just trying to get keep this economy on the track that it currently is. Spending the money you make is corporate social responsibility. Changing the way you make money is operating with purpose. Money still talks. Whenever we have these discussions on diversity with the entities and portfolio, people listen. When we team up with other investors, people listen. This idea that somehow a few people can decide what the rest of society should be allowed to do or not, even if it's currently legal, I find that an interesting conundrum. I look at Bitcoin as a solution in search of a problem. Um, I don't understand why we need this thing. And the, the great thing they're out there talking about is a stable um, cryptocurrency. Well, it's, to me, that's called the dollar. In the end, this is how we tame capitalism, as Bono mentioned. This is how we deal with the fallout that Warren Buffett mentioned. And this is how capitalists make progress, as Michael Bloomberg mentioned. The genius of the end, the genius of capitalism. That's the best way forward. Thank you. We have real questions in the United States about the role of the world in, in the world of the United States should we continue to lead. 25 years ago, the public markets dominated the private markets in virtually every measure. Today, by many measures, the private markets outpace our public markets, including in aggregate size. We were usually there two and a half, three hours. And what, what we talked about is how can we construct something that was different uh, than everyone else was doing. It's, uh, it's been a challenging year for us, without a doubt. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, we've learned a lot through this experience. Um, we've been uh, humbled as a company, but it's also given us a perspective on, uh, on what we need to do going forward. Digital wallet is a hugely important change in consumer behavior. So this year, you're gonna have two billion people on the planet, two billion people with a digital wallet. And I don't think people realize what that means. I mean, it means that it's always on you and it's always on. $112 billion of shareholder value are lost every year. And by the way, in this room, normally I have to explain what is $112 billion. You guys actually know what $112 billion is. So $112 billion of shareholder value gets lost every year because we picked the wrong CEOs. American markets have vastly outpaced the rest of the world. 
you look at, at the U.S. economic system, as imperfect as it may be, it's hard to find one that's a lot better.